now let's create employee table we'll say create table dbo dot employees employees will have uh, first column as employee id which will be big int and identity one comma one and not null fine then we have employee name it should be varcar and 1000 should be sufficient for us next we have department varcar of 1000 then maybe mail id varcar of 1000 and finally date of joining which should be a date and that's it employee id employee name department mail id and date of joining let's execute this create table script let's do a select query select star from so that we know that um, table is created so there is no data we'll insert one record to this table by writing insert into dbo dot employees and values employee id is not needed employee id is auto generated since it is an identity column so we'll skip that column and we'll give employee name as sam <coughs> and um, department so as finance mail id as sam123 at the rate gmail.com date of joining let's give it uh, may 11th 2019 We'll execute this insert script and let's check the data and we have one record let's just insert one more record into this table we'll call him as Bob let's make department as IT and um, mail ID and his date of joining uh, let's give April 10th 2019 okay so now if we do a select star from our table we have two employees let's check our department table there's only one record so let's insert one more department into dbo dot departments values <coughs> id so now let's check the data we have two columns two rows two departments in our departments table <coughs> 